What is going on Bull Nation? This is Laser Bull coming at you with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to farm weapons in Assassin's Creed. Not only weapons, but also gear. You're probably wondering how is this beneficial and how you're able to do it. So when you start off the game or when you're playing in the game and you're trying to get better loot or higher level gear, you're going to want to make sure that when you do certain missions or certain objectives that you get the best gear out of that objective. Now you follow my simple guide. Not only will you be able to get better gear and better weapons, but you'll be able to determine which weapons you want to keep and which gear you want to get. So for example, let's say you're playing and you want to make sure you get yourself a really good helmet because that's what you're missing. Or if you're missing a pair of gauntlets or if you want a sword, if you want an axe, if you want a bow. And you just want to make sure that you get the best that you could possibly get out of that specific mission. Then I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how to farm it. And once you are able to farm it and determine what that's the gear you want and how you're able to keep that. The good thing about this farm method is that not only are you able to do it at the beginning portion of the game. But you're also able to do it throughout the game. So let's go ahead and dive in and let me tell you guys exactly what you will need to do to actually get this farm going. So as you guys know, within Assassin's Creed, there are always layers or encampments that you have to go and clear. I'm going to be using the first one that is part of the first mission or the first layer that you have to visit, which is clearing the Cyclops layer. Now, in order for you to do this and as you progress throughout the game, there's going to be different layers that you're going to be encountering and you're just going to be doing the same method of farming as you move up higher in the ranks to get better loot and better gear. So basically the farm method consists of the following. You're going to go to the encampment or the lair and the lair is going to have certain objectives. For example, this one has the objective of looting a chest, killing the main captain and collecting the piece that I have to collect. Now what you will need to do in order for this to work is you could kill the boss. You'll kill the boss, clear all the ads if you want and collect as many things as you possibly can but the mix it to make this farming method more efficient and to get more weapons than you possibly can then what you will need to do is go loot the chest see what weapon you got if you like that weapon go around the encampment and then around the encampment there's going to be like little weapon cases or little weapon stashes that are going to be available where the bows and arrows are at you're going to want to make sure you loot those because those will also give you gear. You can get a sword, you can get a chest piece, you can get a bow, you can get all sorts of stuff. And in this encampment in particular, there's like about a total of four of them. There's three in the bottom and one on the top of the roof. Pick all of those up and see if you're happy with that loot. If you're happy with that loot, then what you want to do is finish and conclude the mission. But if you are wanting to farm it and see if you actually get better loot, what you will need to do is loot the chest, loot every single place that you could possibly get a weapon from, and then just have the ads kill you. Once the ads kill you, you will then go ahead and respawn. It will assume that you failed the mission and it will ask you to do the mission again. Once again, go kill the ads, or you don't have to kill the ads, you can just run around like I do, but uh, you can definitely just go loot the chest, loot the chest, loot every single uh, weapon stash that they have available. If you like the gear, keep the gear. If you don't like it, don't keep it. Now, one thing I do want to recommend is you guys don't have to go ahead and loot the money because using this method, you cannot farm the money. You'll lose the money if you're collecting the money, but I actually found a way to farm the money. If that's something you guys would want to see in, uh, in a video, let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to put that video out for you guys. Now, this method is very effective because it not only helps you determine what type of gear you want to get, but as you progress throughout the game, there might be a piece that's kind of holding you down, like where let's say you're you're like a level five and you are missing your boots and your boots are only two and you can't seem to get a boot five level five boots then what you will need to do is use this farm method until you actually get a boots and then you guys are able to level up that way so it's a really effective way not only that but there's also different sorts of loot that you could collect different armor sets if you're missing a piece then this is a really good and effective way to actually complete that gear set and there you guys have it. That is how you farm weapons and armors in Assassin's Creed. Do expect a lot of Assassin's Creed coverage coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget guys for all things Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Make sure you guys keep it locked in this channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.